All right, guys, next thing we're going to discuss for you and your new pup is centered around exercise and mental stimulation. OK, uh, you want to make sure that you're not overdoing it in the early days with your pup when it comes down to the physical exercise. OK, one, they're going to probably let you know when they're, they're pooped, right? They're tired. <laughs> they're just going to plop and they're, You know, you'll you'll have a pretty good understanding when they are. Right, they had enough. But I just want you guys to know, like, you know, extremely long walks, um, high impact activity like jumping, stairs, things like that. You, you want to avoid in the early days until, uh, you know, they they get a little older, joints develop, strengthen bones, all that good stuff. Right. You want to, like I said, stay away from those um, those activities that may, you know, aggravate that stuff. Um, when it comes to, you know, mental stimulation for your pup. There's a variety of things you can do. You can introduce like feed, uh, feed tray puzzles um, that they can use. Those, um, those help outs. Anything that you can have them focus on, right? It's going to really wear them out mentally, right? To where some of the physical stuff isn't even necessary in the, in the early days. Okay, if you can get their attention, whether it's focusing on you doing some, you know, basic training stuff or whatever the case may be, you know, you'll start to see it'll wear them out, and then they'll be poop. You put them back in the crate and they'll be good to go for a little bit. OK, but you have to have an understanding that, you know, these dogs do require, you know, exercise, especially as they get older. Right. They like to work. They like to run. You know, so the more that you can give that to them uh, as they develop, you know, the better off it's going to be and make life inside the house a lot easier if they're worn out. Same thing goes for the mental. OK, as, especially as they get older. You'll start to realize it takes a lot more physically to wear them out. But if you, you know, introduce some activities that require them to really think or focus, that'll do the trick. So, you know, a tired pup is a good pup. You know, go out, do your thing, have them focus, do some drills or whatever the case may be, bring them back in. They'll find a good spot like Duke here or whatever, lean on you, and then they'll be, you know, they'll be out well behaved. So uh, just look up some um, training activities that you can do. Uh, for that age group or whatever group your pup might be in. Um, and, you know, like I said, things that you can do to mentally uh, stimulate your dog. <laughs> and um, that stuff will go a long way and help you out. All right. So that being said, guys, let's move into the next point.